Now cameras on smartphones are getting better and better. And now they flip as well. Wondering what I'm talking about? Well, Sahil Maniktala up next gets you the entire lowdown as he reviews the all-new Geoni eLife E7 Mini. Take it away, Sahil. Now they say that great things come in small packages and this couldn't be more true for the all new eLife E7 Mini. This is the younger brother of the flagship eLife E7 and now makes its debut in India in the mid price range segment. But before we talk about the pricing, let's take a look at some of the features that this phone has to offer. Yes, we all know that the eLife E7 is a pretty awesome smartphone and now Gioni has come out with its miniature version. So meet the all new eLife E7 Mini. Gioni has gone for a unibody design with the E7 Mini and as a result the handset stands out with a clean polished look. In terms of form factor, it is made out of plastic but does not feel cheap, is smooth, slick and comes pretty light in weight. The back of the phone is somewhat glossy but unlike the eLife E7, the Mini is less affected by fingerprint smudges. The sides of the phone have dual SIM slots, power button and a volume rocker. Whereas the lower panel has a micro USB port and a 3.5mm audio jack. The E7 Mini also comes in a range of vibrant colors just like its elder brother, the E7. When we talk about the display, the eLife E7 Mini sports a 4.7 inch capacitive touchscreen with a HD resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. Protected by Corning Gorilla Glass, images on the handset are clear and sharp. And those who prefer smaller devices can easily enjoy both communication and entertainment on it. The phone is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to the processor. The Mini comes loaded with a MediaTek Octa-Core chipset with each core paced at 1.7 GHz, which not only makes multitasking lag-free but will also add to its battery life and prevent overheating. The Octa-Core chipset also offers great gaming performance on the E7 Mini and will certainly not disappoint when it comes to playing high graphic games such as Modern Combat 4 and Asphalt 8. Plus, you get 1 GB of RAM with this one. Now let's talk about the camera because that is the real star of this phone. This is a 13 megapixel rotating camera. So basically this doubles up as your rear camera and also your front facing camera. So that means not only do you get those quality crisp images but you also get that ever so perfect selfie every time. So if you're a selfie lover, this phone is meant for you. Now we've seen such camera rotating technology on the Oppo N1 but apart from the Oppo N1 not many phones have adopted this slick rotating camera feature. So this is a very big win for Gioni indeed. Talking of the software, the phone runs on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean wrapped under Gioni's Amigo 2.0 user interface. The internal memory is 16 GB and there's no micro SD slot so 16 GB is all you get. The E7 Mini, unlike the flagship E7, is dual SIM enabled and packs in 3G connectivity as well. The whole package is powered by a 2100 mAh battery and will give you about 10 hours of talk time. Now my only real issue with this phone is the missing micro SD slot because it's a bit off-putting to know that you won't get that extra storage space. But that being said, this is somewhat of a negligible issue considering what the phone is offering. For a price tag of $18,500, you're getting a great compact design, good processing power and of course an outstanding camera. So for me personally, Gioni's knocked this one out of the park. <laughs> 